Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how to use the quadratic formula to factor a trinomial. And again, we're going to imagine that it's actually a quadratic equation. We're going to ignore the equals zero. We're going to solve for the two values of x that will solve the equivalent quadratic equation. We will get two values for x, and then we can write the original trinomial as the product of two binomials, where the numerical coefficients here are the negatives of the two values that we found for x. So using the same technique over there, we can say that x is equal to minus b, which is minus 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 6 squared, minus 4, times a, times c, all divided by, let's see here, uh, 2a, which is 2 times 1, or 2. Now simplifying that, we get x is equal to minus 6, plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 32 all divided by 2, which means that this is equal to minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 4 divided by 2, which is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 2 divided by 2, which means we get two possible values. That means x is equal to minus 6 plus 2, that's minus 4 divided by 2, which is minus 2, or minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8 divided by 2, minus 4. So we have two possible values for x, and let, let me just write this as x equals minus 4, like that. It's a better, better form. Okay, that means that we can now write this in factored form. The quantity x plus 2, remember it's the opposite in sign, x plus 2 times x plus 4, and so that would be the factored form of our original quadratic formula. 2 times 4 is indeed 8, 2 plus 4 equals 6, so we can check and see that we did it correctly, and that is how it's done using the quadratic formula.